Today, I asked UC Berkeley epidemiologist Dr. Arthur Reingold what it's going to take for all of us to be able to return to normal. Would the antibody testing, if that were to, to happen, would that at least allow people uh, some freedom in terms of getting back to work and getting back to uh, a, a life again? It might. I think that's a really important question. And I, I say might for two reasons. First of all, there are now dozens of companies and laboratories developing tests, and some of them may be quite good, others may not be so good. They need validation. So the first question is, who's test and what do we know about it? But the other issue about getting people back to work based on a test, uh, I think people assume two things that may not be true. One of them is that large numbers of people will have antibodies, and two, that those antibodies correlate with protection from becoming reinfected. And while uh, the latter may be true, uh, we're really not yet sure about that, and that protection may last for only a few months as opposed to for years or for a lifetime. A lot of communities and counties are instituting the, uh, the policy of people having to wear a face covering, maybe not an N95 mask, but a face covering out in public. Um, in your opinion, good idea? Well, I think it's a good idea for a couple of reasons. One, um, we hope that that will reduce the possibility that an asymptomatic or minimally symptomatic person uh, would infect someone else, so reduce transmission by somebody who's infected. And we hope that would have some effect on that likelihood. Then the second is, uh, the hope is it reinforces the notion that we all are in a uh, a special time, if you will. Uh, we all need to be thinking about our behaviors and social distancing and things like that. And the one caveat is if people think they can cover their face, but then do everything they wanted to do before, uh, be in large crowds, mingle with a lot of people, uh, not wash their hands anymore, that would be a mistake. In your opinion, what really has to happen next for us to pr proceed down this path to where we can get back? Well, I think we do need to see the, quote, flat, the, the leveling off of deaths and hospitalizations, which we're seeing now in communities like San Francisco, indicating that transmission of the virus started to decline several weeks ago. Uh, so that's an indicator that transmission of the virus is going down. But the other things that we need, if we're going to effectively manage this problem without keeping everyone locked in their homes, uh, is that, first of all, we do need wider availability of testing. And number two, we need to reinforce the public health workforce at the county and state level so that they can do the appropriate follow-up when someone tests positive. Some people call it contact tracing, if you will. But if, if we're testing people and finding them positive and there aren't enough public health workers to go out and appropriately respond, then that's really not going to be as helpful as it needs to be.